Good evening, I'm Dan Klein. Thanks for joining us. A committee co-chaired by Purdue President Mitch Daniel says a mission to Mars should be the long-term goal for NASA. It's a report he hopes is the first starter log to fuel a journey of more than 34 million miles. Sending a man to Mars is not possible today, but according to a report released Wednesday, that should be the horizon goal for NASA's space program. It was a surprise and an incredible honor to be asked to co-chair. For more than a year, Purdue President Mitch Daniels has helped lead a 17-member team of both scientists and non-scientists to answer a congressional mandate. Our assignment started with the question, should we be doing this at all? Is there a justification, a rationale for the uh, risks and the expense of a human space program. The answer to the relief of Daniels was yes, but it won't be easy. Mars is not just a longer moon mission. <laughs> there are incredibly difficult uh, challenges that no one has an answer for yet. Including the damage of radiation in outer space and power. But for a man known for managing expenses and cutting budgets, he says a mission to Mars is worth it even if it costs hundreds of billions of dollars or more. The report says increasing NASA's budget by 5% per year would be enough. The problem for NASA is the same problem we're facing as a country. The so-called entitlement programs are devouring all the money. The report finds that the biggest problem to reaching Mars is picking a path and sticking with it through different presidents, congresses, and budgets, a path that is at best 25 years long. The report offers three pathways for the nation's leaders to choose from with different steps and short-term goals to reach along the way. Daniel says NASA's current path, which is constantly changing, won't cut it. But the best part for the co-chair? Coming to a conclusion I hoped we'd be able to justify. Yes, uh, space, the kind that Boilermakers have been leaders in since the beginning, is an important human endeavor, and the United States should lead it and can lead it if we change business as usual. Mitch Daniels was in Washington, D.C. this morning to help present the report to the National Academies. He says NASA's budget currently makes up about two-tenths of one percent of the nation's budget.